I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Thanks for joining me on these little amateur radio adventures. Well, sending and receiving emails, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward kind of task. Uh, but if you're in a situation where you cannot normally connect to the internet, uh, say be due to a natural disaster, or if you're in a location where um, regular, in, regular internet uh, connectivity does not uh, reach, like maybe um, in a, on a seafaring or ocean-going vessel or way out in the wilderness, uh, amateur radio comes to the rescue. Uh, there is a protocol called WinLink 2000 that lets you send and receive email over the air. Uh, typically, we're using, we use WinLink uh, to send email uh, via VHF uh, frequencies if there's a um, WinLink node that's, that's close by. But if you're in a um, way out in uh, the middle of nowhere or in a situation or area where you cannot get a reliable internet connection, then maybe HF radio is your only, only hope. And with that, uh, Win WinLink also offers uh, HF connectivity to send um, and receive emails using either the um, Pactor, um, Pactor modems. Uh, Pactor modems are, are, can be quite fast, but they're also quite expensive. But there's also an open source protocol called Winmore. And uh, the WinLink Express a message application has Winmore built in. So what do you need in order to get started with uh, HF email? Well, uh, number one is a computer uh, that's capable of running uh, the WinLink Express application. The program's free. It's a shareware type program, so there is a um, if you do enjoy it, uh, please uh, register it and help support the authors of the program. Also, there's, um, you'll, you'll need a, a sound card device, either using the built-in sound card in your computer and something like, a, like an interface like a rig blaster, or the SignalLink uh, sound card interface. Uh, SignalLink is a very clean um, implementation that just uses the USB port on your computer, has a built-in sound card, connects directly to the radio. And then finally an HF radio with uh, the appropriate antenna. Uh, most uh, Windlink stations are running either on 10, or, or excuse me, are running on 20, 30, 40, or uh, 80 meters. Uh, today, on today's demonstration, we're gonna connect to a Windlink station on the 40 meter band. So, um, what's gonna follow now is just a brief demonstration on how WinLink works on HF, so sit back, relax, and uh, check it out. Now I'm going to take you through a demonstration of WinLink Express using uh, the Winmore HF protocol. What we have set up here today is a computer, a uh, Windows 10 machine running the WinLink Express application. Also have a SignalLink, a USB a sound, a adapter, a sound cut adapter and a um, ICOM IC718 tuner and then antenna on the roof, of course. So uh, the first thing in, um, in, in sending and receiving email is, of course, open up the WinLink application. We've got it here on the screen. Uh, if you're familiar with using WinLink on VHF, uh, this, all, this part is, is, is the same as ever before. I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, draft a quick message. So I'm gonna click on message hit new message. I'm going to type in an email address and I'm going to use my own email address kb9vbr at yahoo.com. Subject, I'm just going to call this WinLink test and um, quick message. This is a test of WinLink with the HF Win more protocol. And uh, hit post outbox just like before. Now the message is queued up for sending. At this time, I can um, open a session, session. And that's what I'm about to do. When I hit the open session uh, screen or button, uh, up pops up on the screen are a couple of different things. One is uh, the session window, uh, quite similar to the VHF version of the session window, except um, it's got a couple extra fields for uh, frequency information. And then above it is the uh, Winmore sound card um, interface application. And we see on there a couple of items, a waterfall display, 
and then also a constellation display. The constellation display shows us what our received signal uh, looks like so that we can kind of judge its signal quality. I'm going to select a uh, station to send my message to. So I'm going to down here, I'm going to select channel selection and um, up comes the HF channel selector table. Uh, these are all stations in the U.S. with their um, estimated path reliability estimates. And it looks like um, based upon my location, it kind of calculates the propagation and tells us which ones we're going to have a better than average chance of making a good connection with. So I'm going to pick this one down here towards the bottom, K9 ANF. It's about 550 miles away from my location, uh, which is good enough for um, on the 40 meter band, which is where we're at. It says we've got an 80% um, reliability there. So um, I hit, it's, it's highlighted. I'm going to hit select. That information populates into the, um, the fields here. Dial frequency 7.70.5 megahertz. Got that set on the radio. And um, I'm going to hit the start button. Okay. It is calling the station. And I am getting um, a received transmission from the station. And it looks like we are connected at this time. As you can see in the constellation display, uh, the more well-defined this constellation is, uh, the better, higher quality our signal is. Well, the waterfall looks, looks good. It's sending header information at this point. We're talking with the, you know, um, Wind link, the Windlink applications are talking to each other, uh, giving it the headers and whatnot. At this point, it's going to begin uh, sending the message. And it's now sending. Now, the way the Windmore protocol works is it's using a forward error correction to um, uh, verify that each packet sent and received is 100% correct. So when it sends a packet, it also sends uh, an error correction value. If um, when, the, when, the, when the other station receives that packet, if the error correction value matches the received packet, then we know that there's 100% quality with that packet. So it can continue. Forward error, compression, forward error correction gives you a little bit faster um, send rates than um, ARQ error correction, which needs to send the uh, checksum after the packet is sent. And as we can see here, our message was sent 248 bytes per minute. Uh, Winmore has got a uh, average throughput speed of little more than 300 bytes per minute. Uh, not quite as fast as the faster PACTOR implementations, but um, whereas um, a PACTOR modem is going to set you back a few hundred dollars, WinLink is an open source, open protocol. So I guess it depends upon if um, you know what you have. You know, if if you if money is more important than speed, then you, then you go the Winmore route. Okay, we just finished up the transmission, and now uh, my station will be sending a source um, a Morse code um, ID. At the end, uh, we're disconnected. Um, the entire session took two minutes to send that one 200 byte message. If I was going to receive another message uh, along with the queue, you know, that, might, in, it, that was sitting in the queue, that might take a little bit of extra time also because it's going to send the messages first and then receive the messages and then we would see any mail in our inbox. So I'm going to hit the exit here, close down our session, and um, we are, we are good to go. Um, I previously received a message and, um, on, on a previous session today, so get an idea of what that looks like. So that is a demonstration of the WinLink uh, Winmore protocol for HF email sending and receiving. 
Well, that in a nutshell is um, the Winlink uh, HF Pro Winlink's Winmore HF protocol, how to send and receive a message uh, using using Winlink. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments about this video, please leave them below. I do uh, filter through all of the comments and uh, respond or reply to them as the best I can. If you enjoyed this video, found it informative, as always, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really, um, really, really appreciate that. New videos are being produced all the time, so um, hitting subscribe is your way of being notified when a new video is ready to watch. So with that, um, I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and 73.